everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atama ETV, and I've got here some critical Hot Wheels toy technology. So stand by for a Hot Wheels toy review. Yes, I know I don't do a lot of Hot Wheels toy reviews, uh, but this, uh, this component here is important to some testing we're going to conduct later on this month or in December in our toy testing lab. So when I saw this in the store, I picked one up. I, I'll explain. Let's have a closer look at the box. Right, so this set is called the Drop Down Challenge. It's from last year, so it's not even that new. This box may look different from what you see in North America, U.S., and Canada. This looks like more of an international packaging. I don't know if Mattel, Mattel Toys makes these, right? I don't know if Mattel puts all this on the U.S. packages. This has got, like, French, and it's even got Arabic on there. It's got everything but Japanese and Chinese, which is funny. Comes in two cars. I also got some extra cars free, uh, but that's not why I got it. <laughs> Can you see the package okay? The reason I got this is because of this uh, clamp. It basically, it's a race track. It's a drag race testing track, right? And it comes with this table clamp. Very important for me. With this table clamp, you can attach this to uh, well, tables of various size or, or chairs or railings on a balcony, whatever. Various ways you can use this. I've had this before, this kind of a clamp before, but I had to put it in storage before I ran out here to hide in, in Asia. So, but see, I may have some special testing going on later next month. And so I knew I would need this kind of a clamp technology and the track to test products. And notice this track curves, but also I've got some straight track sections. That's one of the other cool things. That's one of the two cool things about uh, Hot Wheels is that you can put Hot Wheels sets to uses other than what is recommended on the package. I know Mattel may not want to recommend that. Mattel may not want you to make unstandard use of your Hot Wheels, but in a toy testing lab situation, you put you use what you've got to do your testing. And that's I'm just saying I'm not going to say exactly what I'm going to test yet, but we're going to be using this to conduct some tests. Meanwhile, I'm going to unbox this and we're just going to see how it looks, you know, just for fun. Anyway, by the way, did I say this cost about $23 to me? The toys I buy here are more expensive. You could probably get this in the U.S. for less than $20 because it's really a basic set. There's not a whole lot to it. No, no motorized parts, for example. And what's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing. Why do we have to have motors to enjoy ourselves? We have gravity, the wonderful force of gravity to launch our cars well okay all right let's go let's have a look okay so the side of the box is warning me in a picture don't open the side of the box it's a good thing they put it on the side of the box because i was just getting ready to do that instead they want you to they want you to punch out the back of the box i wonder why i'll try to figure this out but we're going to punch out as they say, we're going to try to punch out it where it's perforated here and get this open. Okay, this may take a while. Okay, in accordance with the directions from Mattel, I have pushed in the perforations and here are the insides. It's got some directions. You don't need that. You don't need that either. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how to do everything. We're going to figure this out, doggone it. I am a scientist. I've got a master's degree. In military arts and sciences, I can figure this out without directions. All right, all right. Let's get off. Oh, there's the cars. I got to get the cars out. How do I get the cars out? Oh, no. Give me a minute. Okay, so here's a good close look at the cars. Uh, this one is obviously kind of a, a modified car. It's got this nice big hatchback, and you can see the engine inside there uh, and underneath there, and you can see a little bit of the cockpit. It's kind of nice. It's a nice car. It's got that Hot Wheels logo on it. And number nine, like it's a racing car. And then this other one is like a, a Baja racer. It's the Baja uh, event in uh, Mexico. And um, these trucks, the tires are so big, they have to put the spare tire in the back like that. That's why they do that. And then it's got some see-through parts too, you know. And it's got that kind of a net thing. It looks like a net. It's not really a course. And it's got the Hot Wheels logo as well. Now, what do you think? Which car will be faster? The heavier, the larger one, the truck, 
or the car because the car is more aerodynamic and might go faster down the track being aerodynamic right it's smooth the air will flow smooth see aerodynamic right but the heavier vehicle may go faster because it's heavier although in theory the weight doesn't matter but in reality weight makes some difference on earth because of wind resistance and stuff it's kind of science i'll explain that sometime we'll do some experiments with that yes yeah, so here's what you get you get this critical clamp component it looks like it might go about two inches wide you get these flags because the flags are used to determine the winner in this drag race thing you get a couple of curved tracks you get a bunch of straight tracks and some track connectors you got these this uh, scaffolding components which i assume i hope are are of a very heavy duty construction because we're going to put them to some really tough tests and then this drag racing starter system which is going to be very handy you got some stickers you got the two cars now the directions here can you see that yeah the directions i'm reading them so you don't have to it says it says uh you can mount this thing up to about 20 inches tall you know uh that's uh, 51 centimeters oh ha we're of course going to put this to a much stiffer test, a much harder test than that. It also says here, not for use with some Hot Wheels vehicles. Ha! I say, ha! We're going to put this to the test on all kinds of toys, not even just Hot Wheels vehicles. So just ignore those warnings from Hot Wheels. They don't want you to find out the power of this system here. All right, here, I'll get this put together so we can see how it works. Okay, so I've got the track system set up in my lab. My maintenance crews have constructed this gantry system at no small expense just for the conduct of this experiment. We've got it set up about 18 inches tall. And the most critical thing I'll say for parents worrying about Christmas morning, all the components are here and it does all work together. That's what you get with a quality company like Mattel, uh, etc., the stuff, you know, it's hard to do when you make hundreds of thousands of things. They've got all the parts here, so my hat's off to them. Now we've got, uh, we got it set up here with two uh, straight tracks, excuse me, three track sections down, a turn, and then they finish off here on these elevated ramps. And there's these little flags here to go off when the cars come down. Let's look at that. Well, so first you've got this larger device here. And I will say uh, the device is set so that you can... Uh, Place it in several configurations in one, two, three places where the launcher can attach to the clamp, uh, which would be of interest to other experimenters like me. You might have to position this in different ways, and this allows you to do that. I like that about Mattel making this. And then they've got this fair starting system that holds the cars in tandem. This has to be incredibly strong to hold back the force of these cars with the weight of gravity and the engines going at full speed. No brakes, ready to start. And then the cars hit these banked curve sections. They're banked to try to hold the cars on the track. Imagine the strain, the centripetal force as they hit these sidewalls here. The tires squealing, the metal scraping, trying to fly off the end of the track. But they do stay on. And then you get these spring-loaded flags a system here to try to tell you who the winner is. I'll tell you what though, I recommend installing a photoelectric uh, timer camera system because these cars have been very close in all my time trials. So can you tell who won? I can't.
Okay, so the track worked pretty good. I had some fun, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to conduct important toy testing and military technology research. And that's why we're going to be putting this to the test with other kinds of non-Hot Wheels products. I'm not going to say what they are, <laughs> but you'll just have to tune in and watch. So until next time, have a great day. Kill me, I guess I'm doing okay. I'm lost, I'm lost among the millions, just an empty head filled with the sky.